Hello everyone, welcome to my new Let's Play of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. This is in my opinion, the black sheep of the Zelda franchise. Why? Because it's horribly underrated. And you know why it's horribly underrated? You're looking at it. Yeah. People hate it because it's Katie! This isn't the kind of look we want, we want to Twilight Princess! I also think this is the better game than Twilight Princess, because, like, we waited a long time for Twilight Princess, and it still did not meet some people's expectations, including myself. But this game perfectly met my, my expectations. Even though I was, like, 10, I think, when I got this game, even, like, 8 years later, it is still, uh, wait, no, I got it when I was 11, even, like, 7 years later, it's still an awesome game. Seriously. If you hate this game because it's graphics, get out. This is a really memorable game, in my opinion. I remember spending a summer, I think. Yeah, summer trying to beat it because one part of the game is very tedious, but I'll get into details about that when we get to that part in the game. So let's make my file. And I couldn't find it yet for some reason. This is going to be a 100% playthrough, except there's one thing I'm not going to be 100%ing in this game. Some of you who've played this game may be able to guess. I have my reasons, and some of you may understand, some of you won't. But I'll get into details about that when we get to that point in the game. Until then, enjoy the intro cutscene, because I'm not going to be talking over it, because I don't like doing that.
Isn't it just dandy to send a 12 year old to save the world? When really that's a bad idea? Viewers, that is what we call Nintendo in a nutshell. Alright, so after that long intro, we can now control the game. And I believe this is... Wait, no, Twilight Princess had a controllable camera, but whatever. So, the, ca the camera works pretty well, but some people find it annoying. I can kind of see why, because it can be a bit of a pain, but I wouldn't exactly say so, so... Control, I found... How did I make that jump? I don't know. I found a control to be a bit hard to get used to, because... I played Ocarina of Time and the Kiku as well, and it felt a bit different, as well as Majora's Mask. And, as you can tell, I'm kind of having a bit of problems. Because I have not played this game in... I don't know when. Because I mostly spend my time with Ocarina of Time. But anyway, you can jump here and collect some rupees. Rather easily. As you can probably guess, the game controls pretty similarly, like, button layout wise to Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. The Y, Z, and X buttons correspond to the Z left, Z down, and Z, Z right buttons, respectively. Hold on, let me just adjust this. Because I personally prefer to have the switch option, and I don't have the rumble feature because I'm using a wireless controller. Surround sound, and we're good. And as you can tell, we have nothing. At all. So, in this game, you can actually crouch. They carried this feature into Trial Princess. I believe in... You couldn't do this in Majora's Mask. Did you have to do that? Come on, give me a piggy. Now, I don't believe you could do this in Majora's Mask. Yeah, you can't. But you could do this in Ocarina of Time as Kid Link. Adult Link couldn't do it because he was too big boned or something. So you bring this pig over here. And this lady will give you. I think I skipped that too fast, but. She'll give you 20 rupees! Which is nice, because rupees are a bit more important in this game than they are in the other games, because you actually are required to get a large amount of rupees at a later point in the game. And that was part of why I never completed this game. The other reason being because at one point in the game, they don't really tell you how exactly you're supposed to come, 
get to the next few dungeons. Come here, piggy. I'm not gonna turn you into bacon. As much as I love bacon. One word of advice. Don't underestimate the pigs. The pigs do not play games. Trust me when I say this. They don't screw around. And no, I am not going to be reading the text out. Why? Because I don't like doing it. And I know it annoys some people and... It kind of annoys me some sometimes. But I just don't like doing it. Where's that other pig? Um, where's the pig? I think it's over there. We are not gonna. Dis okay. Um, where's the pig? Okay, I have no clue where the other pig is. I honestly don't. I really have no clue. But the pigs are optional, but it'll help out. So what you want to do is, you can crouch under there to find something, but I'm going to do that at a later point, because it will kind of be a waste at this point in the game. And this is our house. It's kind of a dump. I'm assuming that's where... I'm assuming that's where Grandma sleeps. I'm assuming that's where Link sleeps. Maybe, I don't know. That was an accident. That was a creepy high. You didn't really think that we'd go a Zelda game without wearing green clothes, did you? As if Nintendo's that awesome enough. No, the day Nintendo will be awesome is the day Link wears an orange tunic. When that happens, I will be very happy. I'm not going to ask how he changed so quickly, and why he changed in front of his grandma, but, okay. You know why I'm not going to ask? Because it's a Nintendo game. And only in a Nintendo game would kids have to become the age of 12 in order to wear green clothes. And yes, Link is 12 in this game. Nintendo set themselves on their site. I don't care what you say. I don't know why people argue about it. It's actually interesting because I got this game on my birthday. Well, I tried getting on my birthday, but the stores were sold out and I was sad face. Instead, I got Melee, but Melee's on. Okay. Actually, it's a great game. And so, I think... No, I wasn't done with Ocarina of Time yet, so... After playing through Melee as Link, I just decided to continue with Ocarina of Time. On the Collector's Edition, not Master Quest. I would buy Master Quest, but it's $35. Yeah. It's a 15-year-old game. And, of course, only GameStop would sell for that much. 
I'll bet it's rare, but it's not worth it. And with the 3DS version coming out, it should be even cheaper. I mean, wait, no, not with the 3DS version coming out, with the 3D version out, and with the 3D version having Master Quest. Yeah. The only thing that sucks about the 3DS version with Master Quest is you have to beat the game normally, like under normal mode, in order to unlock Master Quest. Yeah, they give us a telescope. No, we don't get the boomerang, the hook shot, or the bow and arrow, or anything like that. For our for, for our first item or a slingshot, we get a telescope. Maybe we can beat people on the head with it until we get uh, a sword. And it's not even ours to keep. It's a postman with wings. It's like something out of Pokemon. Okay, no, that bird is like something out of Pokemon. I can use your telescope. Come on, come on. Well, I guess since it's your telescope, I can't beat people with it because it'll be unusable. But you know, that's just a thought. And you know, I'm not the only person who thinks a telescope can be used as a weapon. Go away, fanboy. I seriously have no idea where that pig is, though. I really don't. You know, let's go take a visit to that ship, actually. You don't have to do this. Actually, I think you may have to come here at a certain point in the game. But let's just do it now. Only in this Zelda game will you get a bag that looks like a pig. I'll buy that, and then I'll buy that pear. The bait is pretty useful later in the game. It will, it's, I think, yeah, you can use it to get a piece of heart. I think multiple ones. Let's buy this pear. I think I could probably use a pair now, but there's no point. Actually, no, I think I could find a use for the pair. Let me take a look. And from this point in the game, you do not need the telescope for anything else. Let me see. And with that pair, you can take control of a seagull. Yeah. I think, yeah, I can get that rupee there. It's a green rupee, really? Maybe I can see where that frickin' pig is. 
Did I want to find that pig, damn it? And there's some money there. Just go down there and get the money here. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot to using this seagull. Again, you do need to actually take control of a seagull at some point. If you look down there, I can, can, the game's not letting me descend. Yeah, it's... Well, Link's down there doing some weird stuff with his head. I don't know what. But okay. What we need to do is go here to find Orca. And that guy wants you to talk to him, but I don't want to. Because he maybe dropped the other pig before. Actually, I think there's something funny you can do with that guy. I don't see what the big deal about wearing green clothes is. At least on this island. I think orange is a better color. Or maybe blue. Actually, what am I saying? I like green better than blue anyway. Little, he's... he's about your size. Awesome. You can only see this end at this point in the game, I think. If you come back at any other point, I don't think that'll happen. I don't think there is. Yep. And I still don't know where that other pig is. I had a man to know. 